Hi, I'm Som Ergün Doğdu. I'm the president for Middle East and Africa for Diversity. But most important of all, I'm a parent who's concerned about the future of our world and our children. Today, I would like to talk about a topic which is dear to me and is a key concern to us all. It's the ecological overshoot. Every year, nature offers us its resources for our consumption. However, if we consume these resources faster than nature's regeneration rate, we simply exceed nature's self-regeneration limit. And this is called the Earth Overshoot Day. Today is the unfortunate day on which we have reached the end of these resources for 2019. The 29th of July 2019, the Earth Overshoot Day. That means we have already used up our resources for this year. So how do we exceed the limit? Let me explain it with a simple example. Let's say our planet has given us 100 units of resources for this year. If we consume 80 units for this year, we leave 20 for the next year. But if we consume 120, that means we've begun to use next year's resources. Earth overshoot day varies across the countries, as you can imagine, as different countries have different natural resource consumption rates. And unfortunately, these dates move to an earlier time year after year. Over the past 20 years, the overshoot day has moved up three months to July 29 this year, the earliest ever. We currently use nature resources close to two times faster than our planet's ecosystems can regenerate. If we move Earth overshoot day five days back annually, we can live with the nature resources we have only by 2050. I think this shows the seriousness of the situation very clearly. Now, you might wonder, is there nothing we can do to stop this trend? In fact, there is a lot, and there is a lot we can do together. We as diversity, together with our nearly 9,000 employees, are working towards a healthy and safe world, where people are free to live their lives sustainably. Ranging from water usage to food waste, from optimum chemical usage to energy consumption, and from greenhouse gas emissions to waste management, we produce solutions on many different issues. Through our solutions, we managed to achieve a 24% savings on greenhouse gas emissions, a 32% savings on plastic waste, and a 14% savings on water consumption since 2006 globally. In 2018 alone, we saved approximately a billion liters of water in Middle East and Africa, which translates to daily water needs of over 20 million people. We helped our customers reduce their energy consumption and save more than 6 billion kilowatt hours. That's again, annual energy need of nearly 2.5 million people who live in this geography. We helped our customers to reduce their carbon dioxide emission by two tons. We saved more than 400 tons of plastic waste, which is equivalent to more than 8 million plastic bottles. With our So For Hope program we launched in 2013, we collected close to 4,000 tons of soap waste from 653 partner hotels all around the world. We produced nearly 32 million bars of new soap and delivered these to the communities in need in different parts of the world in an effort to raise hygiene standards. Similarly, since 2011, through Diversity's Linens for Life program, we collected nearly 130 tons of linen, which is equivalent to 16,000 kilt cover sets discarded by hotels for disaster relief and livelihood generation. We continue to work with determination towards our global objectives. We believe we have the power to change the future by focusing on recycling, investing in renewable resources, reducing waste, and launching sustainable innovations. You, me, and everyone, we must act now because we are accountable for our future and we can succeed only if we stick together. Thank you.